A recommended deal is in the hands of the International Longshore and Warehouse Union and the BC Maritime Employers Association. It's day 12 of the strike that has paralyzed BC ports. Labour Minister Seamus O'Regan says a good deal is within reach. But I am confident that when the members on both sides see the details of this, these, these terms, uh, these terms of, a, of an agreement here, that, that, they will, uh, that they will go along with. What I would characterize this as is a forceful nudge. The main issues for port workers include cost of living, port automation and outside contracting. Premiers and territorial leaders meeting in Winnipeg weighed in. I'm really hopeful that both sides uh, reach an agreement at the table that's going to last. Others have been pushing for back-to-work legislation. When we see a 12-day disruption, it's going to take, uh, two to, I'm told, two to five times as long for us to be able to not only clear that backlog, but get those chains operating back to normal. Business and industry leaders unveiled a port calculator showing a dollar figure for how much trade has been disrupted by the strike so far, more than $8 billion. To understand the impacts of the strike, business leaders say there are about 63,000 shipping containers that are waiting to be unloaded. But by the end of the month, that number could go up to 245,000. So this is a positive first step, but there is no guarantee that this is going to end quickly if either side opts out. And so we are calling on the federal government to do what's necessary if either side opts out and pass back to work legislation if required. That means we are seeing a slowdown in our operations and a shutdown starting this week. This has direct impact to our employees, families and forced dependent communities around the province. The federal labour minister says the relationship between the two sides was starting to fray, but would not commit to back-to-work legislation. We respect the collective bargaining process and the rights of workers, um, but at the same time, the Canadians need a deal. The next step is for both parties to communicate their willingness to ratify the deal or not. The deadline is Thursday morning at 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.